Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today we will discuss the Zener diode. Here we will understand the basic concept, structure and working. So first of all, we will see the basic principle of working, including some properties of uh, Zener diode. Here is the symbol of uh, Zener diode and the Zener diode in a circuit is shown here. We will discuss this also how Zener diode is used in reverse biasing okay in a circuit then we will also see the biasing of pn junction uh, how forward biasing is done in the normal diode and uh, the reverse biasing of the diode how it takes place in Zener how we use reverse biasing in Zener diode and uh, how it affects the movement of electrons and holes in the pn junction and in the last we will see the vi characteristic of the Zener diode and also the Zener diode as a voltage regulator, how it is used as a voltage regulator in a circuit. Okay, so the Zener diode will be discussed here in detail. So I request you to watch this video till the end. The symbol of Zener diode has been shown here. Just uh, observe here how it is different from the normal diode. Okay, this is the P side and here is the N side. Okay and uh, this one is the zener diode in a circuit observe that uh, this zener diode has been used in reverse biasing here is the negative terminal of the battery this one is the positive terminal so this negative terminal has been connected to the p side this n side has been connected to the positive terminal of the battery so the p side is at lower potential in comparison to n side of the Zener diode so it is the reverse biasing we always use the uh, Zener diode in reverse biasing in the circuit and it is also used in the breakdown region we will understand what we mean by the breakdown voltage and how the breakdown of a Zener diode occurs and many other concepts like uh, doping and VI characteristics etc will be discussed here this beautiful colorful diagram shows the biasing of the PN junction this is the biasing of a normal pn junction first uh, you need to understand the basic concept what happens in the forward biasing of the diode and in the reverse biasing of the diode as we use the uh, zener diode always in reverse biasing so we will understand the concept of reverse biasing first so what happens in the forward biasing let's uh, understand it also here is the p junction here is the p side and the n side when we have uh, intrinsic semiconductor that is the purest form that is the pure form of the semiconductor uh, is known as the intrinsic semiconductor but when we add impurities to increase the conductivity of the semiconductor then it is known as the extrinsic semiconductor it can be of uh, two types p type of or n type when we add uh, pentavalent impurities then it is it becomes n type uh, semiconductor and when we add trivalent impurities then it becomes the p type semiconductor here we will not uh, go deep into this uh, basic uh, theoretical part because uh, it will be too lengthy lecture then then here is the uh, now here is the depletion region and you can see here that in the depletion region we do not have any charge carriers that's why it is known as depletion region because it is depleted of all the charge carriers okay so here is the this is the forward biasing of the diode in forward biasing we connect the p terminal uh, we have the p terminal at higher potential and n terminal at the lower potential so because of this uh, forward biasing of the diode we as you can see here that uh, because of this we have electric field from p to n side this is the direction of the electric field as we know that uh, electric field force f is equals to q into e electric force is q charge of the uh, charge carrier and e is the electric field is equals to f is equals to q into e is in the direction of the electric field on the positive charge and this electric force is in the negative direction on the uh, is in the opposite direction on the negative charge so as this field is in this uh, direction from p to n therefore the holes present in majority in p side will feel experience a force towards the n terminal and uh, electrons will feel force in the opposite direction to this electric field that is towards this direction towards the p side here electrons are in majority and uh, holes are in minority while in p side holes in are in uh, majority and electrons are in minority so this is 
the basic structure and working in forward biasing because of this uh, we have the some electrons some holes move into this region and electrons are attracted towards this region and the depletion layer width decreases but the opposite happens in case of this here you can see that uh, this is the negative this is a reverse biasing of the diode and because of this the electric field is in opposite direction that is from in this direction that is from n side to the p side and uh, you easily understand here that uh, electrons will feel a force away from this depletion region so electrons will feel a force in this direction and holes will be swept away from the depletion region so both of these charge majority charge carriers feel a force in opposite to the uh, feel a force uh, away from the depletion regions depletion region so because of this the depletion region width increases okay it widens but a small amount of uh, uh, saturation current flows the reverse saturation current flows through the diode in this case also because some minority charge carriers are present in the regions also here n side here on the n side we have some holes few holes and here in the p side we have some minority electrons so these electrons will feel a force in this direction and holes will be moved uh, feel a force in this direction so they will move towards each other because of this uh, we have a small current because of these minority charge carriers we have a small current in the circuit this is known as the reverse saturation current but when we keep on increasing the voltage this reverse voltage then suddenly what happens at a certain point at a certain voltage the diode breaks down and this is known as the breakdown of the diode and this potential at where at which the diode breaks down is known as the breakdown potential so what are the factors that affect the breakdown of the uh, breakdown of the diode at what voltage a diode will break down depends on the amount of doping as we know that we we deliberately added some impurities known as doping into the pure form that is the intrinsic form of the semiconductor to increase its conductivity so you should know that each atom each uh, <clears throat> atom added either pentavalent or the trivalent adds one single charge carrier to the semiconductor it means one pentavalent atom added uh, to this side uh, gives us one electron and uh, one trivalent atom or trivalent impurity added to the p side gives us one hole hole is nothing but the vacancy of the electrons okay so this is the case so when we keep on increasing the doping level then the charge carriers are increased okay so this reduces the breakdown voltage it means if we increase the doping then our diode will break down at the lower voltages okay so this is the concept that is used in the zener diode what we do in zener diode we increase the doping level so because of this increase in doping level we have more charge carriers it's it becomes more conductive okay we have more uh, charge carriers provided by the external uh, impurity atoms and because of this the depletion region decreases depletion region width decreases and it breaks down at uh, very lower voltages in comparison to the normal diode now let's notice this uh, vi characteristic of the zener diode you can see that in the forward biasing it is it's it seems like that uh, the forward and reverse biasing curve is same as as the uh, case of a normal diode but there is some difference here as we are uh, concerned with the negative part this uh, uh, reverse uh, voltage part as it is used in the reverse uh, mode so let's observe this here you can see that we are increasing the reverse voltage but the current is not increasing it is nearly constant this is known as the reverse saturation current as this is the uh, reverse current reverse volt due to reverse voltage and it is quite seems like saturated current so it is known as reverse saturation current which is very small in quantities and uh, 
at a certain voltage this is known as vz the zener voltage here is the this is the breakdown voltage for the zener diode it suddenly breaks down actually the structure and when we keep on increasing the voltage the diode suddenly breaks down and the current suddenly starts to increase okay you can see here that uh, if we uh, want to further increase the reverse voltage then also the voltage is not increasing the current is it is flowing infinite amount of current although the current is increasing but the voltage has stopped at vz so we can use the zener diode as a voltage regulator because if we in a, if we use it in a circuit then uh, the current varies it increases to higher current then it will not increase it will not let the voltage increase and it, it will be constant at the vz the uh, breakdown voltage of the zener here it is not increasing although the current is increasing although a small amount of current flows through the circuit in the reverse biasing so even on increasing the voltage uh, because uh, we have uh, a small amount of uh, minority charge carriers in p and n sides so because of uh, this these less number of charges the current that we get is reverse saturation current is very small but if we keep on increasing the voltage then at some stage it creates an electric field that is high enough to break the bonds of the electrons okay so electrons are electrons and holes are produced in large amount and this condition where the structure of the atom breaks and the electron is electrons are released is known as the breakdown of the diode and this happens at very low voltages because of high doping in case of zener diodes okay so breaking of the bonds or breaking of the electrons from its atom or breaking of the structure the lattice of the uh, diode ions is known as the zener breakdown now we will see how we can use the zener diode as a voltage regulator in a circuit as i already told you that uh, at a certain voltage known as the zener uh, breakdown voltage uh, denoted by vz z for zener v for voltage it breaks down and it don't let the voltage increase after this if if even if the current is increasing so we can use this property in a circuit as a voltage regulator here we have used this zener diode here and here is the load resistance and we want that uh, it we should get a regulated that is a constant voltage okay although voltage at this end may vary suppose here is the unregulated voltage supply and we want regulated that is a constant voltage supply here and uh, we know that the voltage across the zener diode does not increase above the vz it it remains constant at the vz uh, for this the condition is that we need a unregulated voltage that is above this zener voltage above this uh, breakdown voltage for the zener so in this case if the voltage is more than the breakdown voltage of the zener then for all the voltages unregulated although it may have some fluctuations in the voltages but they should be well above the vz if it is above vz then it will operate always in the breakdown condition and in the breakdown condition it will give us regulated that is a constant voltage that is equals to its vz so suppose if it is uh, of 10 uh, if it is having the rating of uh, vz equals to 10 that is it breaks down at a voltage of 10 volts then if the amount is varying from 12 to 11 also then suppose here uh, let me explain it to you with the help of this uh, Elect uh, this mathematical expression here i current here is i is the current if it increases then the voltage does not increase how here is the v naught v naught is the output voltage which we want to be constant so v naught is v minus i r s the voltage drop across this i s is r s is i into r s so the remaining uh, voltages if we, here we apply the voltage sub unregulated voltage as v so v minus irs irs is the drop across this so the remaining voltage will be 
across this so v minus i r s so after using the zener diode this v naught remains always constant why this is so because when the voltage v increases then the current i also increases so on increasing this this part that is we are that we are subtracting from this v also increases so this difference v minus i r s remains always constant if this increases then this i also increases so this difference remains always constant because i is also increasing along with the b along with the v so this v minus i r s is always constant and this is equals to the v z okay so i hope you got the concept how we can use the zener diode as a voltage regulator and what happens by changing the doping so if you like the video please uh, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy you can get more details on my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com thanks for watching have a nice day please subscribe and like the video bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye